welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I don't know if I'm ready to do this, but here we are. I just thought it would be fun to rank some of my latest eyeshadow purchases for you guys. So if you don't know, in 2020, I am on a low buy slash no buy little project that I'm doing. So I'm only allowing myself to buy four eyeshadow palettes a month. That's really all I can buy is eyeshadow palettes. And mostly I just did that because I have a YouTube channel and of course I want to bring you guys new content and I do love to do reviews. That's like a big part of my channel. So yeah, for review purposes and for content purposes, I did want to be able to purchase eyeshadow palettes, but majority of everything else I'm supposed to not be buying. So I did have some palettes that came into my life before the start of 2020. And so I have some of those. I have some palettes I also did, you know, buy in 2020 as part of my project. So I just thought it would be fun to rank some palettes. And I've never done this kind of video yet. So I'm like hella nervous because uh, it could go wrong or people might get upset if I don't rank their favorite palettes high enough. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's nerve-wracking. I hate favorites. I hate choosing special things. It gives me the willies. I don't know why, but I have all my palettes that I'm going to rank in a basket. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I have 11 palettes to rank today and number 11 is this guy. This is the Glamlight Miracle Palette and I was lucky enough to be sent this in PR by Try Beauty Box. It was part of the box that Angelica created and if you have seen my video showing a demo of all the products I received, this shade kind of broke on me so I don't want to hold it up. Well, I probably could actually. Here it is. Okay, here is what it looks like. So I did lose a shade but it was, wasn't too bad and yeah, it's a nice palette. I actually really like Glam Lights palettes. This one I'm ranking at 11 only because I broke that shade and I mm, it's not like my favorite color story. But overall, I've had really good luck with Glam Light and I know they just came out with that kick palette and I'm so excited to see people's looks and stuff with it. I didn't want to buy it because to me it's a rainbow palette really and I have their paint palette which actually I just decluttered um, but I'm, I'm kind of okay on the rainbow palettes right now so my glam light palette is number 11. So number 10 and this one honestly would have been last if the glam light palette wasn't here is the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette. I was so excited for this palette. I picked it up at the end of December. Um, I was obsessed with this color story. I just felt like these were my fall vibes last year and it was so fun to see this color combo in a palette but unfortunately the formula of this palette, like the look I did in my first impressions video, I really liked but uh, it's such a struggle to get these shades to blend, so I'm really disappointed in this formula. I do like the color story, but yeah, I'm ranking this at number 10. And then number 9 is one of the new Juvia's Place mini palettes. It is the Nudes palette. I would like to rank them all together, but really that doesn't make sense. This one is beautiful. I think on somebody with lighter skin, this would be such a great everyday palette. Uh, but for me, this is kind of... Uh, a tough one. I really like this mustardy shade and all the shimmer shades are beautiful so it's not that I can't get any use out of this palette it's just that it's kind of lower on my list of favorites. So number eight I did rank my Star Wars palettes. Honestly these could be interchangeable but yeah it's these guys from Pat McGrath. So this is her Star Wars collab. This came out I think after Christmas time. So I ranked that one as seven and eight. Here is the the Dark Galaxy um, collection. And then the gold one is called Galactic Gold. So these ones, they're nice. I just don't really think they're that fantastic. They don't contain any of 
Hat McGrath special shades, but they have some beautiful foils and I'm happy to have these in my collection. I just don't know that I'm like to die for because I feel like the good ones are really good. And then again, I have Pat McGrath in the number six spot. This is her palette for the Lunar New Year. This was my first palette of January 2020. So this was palette number one of four. And here is what it looks like. This one is a amazing neutral palette. I think for the price point, it is a little bit pricey. But if you're trying to get into Pat McGrath, this might be a really great way for a neutral lover to go. And then we have number five, and it is the Violet by Juvia's Place. This is a beautiful purple palette, and I think it's really, really pretty. I want to compare this to some other purple palettes I have in my collection. I haven't played with this one. For example, this is the Violet ink palette from Menagerie and this is the one by Juvia's Place. So you guys had requested that video It is in the back of my mind. I'm gonna try and get it done, but yep, that is number five number four is my Chocolates palette from Juvia's Place. This is beautiful. I love the deep deep chocolatey shades just for a beautiful smoky eye look and therefore that is number four Number three, because you guys know I'm such a sucker for berry shades, is the Juvia's Place Berries palette. How stinking cute is this? I had so much fun. I even did an eye look where I combined the berries with the violets that was inspired by a look Angie did on her channel. So really, really, really enjoying all those little palettes from Juvia's Place. So number two, that I'm ranking is gonna be this guy from Sydney Grace. So I love this palette. This is the Enduring Love by Sydney Grace. And I was again lucky enough to receive this guy in PR. I did do a look with this. I've done multiple looks with this palette. The only reason this one is coming in second is because it's cool tone and cool tone palettes aren't usually like my cup of tea but this palette has such a fantastic formula and after I used it I messaged Sydney Grace and I was like you guys have to do a warm version of this palette like for all the warm tone lovers out there like oh my gosh I think that would be such a hit for them I mean this one was a hit too it sold out in like eight minutes or something crazy like that. Um, so I was so happy to receive this in PR and I think it's such a fabulous palette. Go back and watch my video on it. You guys really liked that video. You gave it a lot of love. I got a ton of views. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for that. And in number one, oh my gosh, I love this palette so, so much. It's like one of those palettes that really has me thinking like, I don't even want any more palettes for 2020. I'd be just happy with this one. And it is the Omrizi palette. Oh my goodness, this palette is beautiful. I have been using it. I even did a video with it and like a review and I just keep going back to it. I don't wanna use any of my other palettes because I love this so much. I love the mattes, they blend great. The shimmer shades are beautiful. This is like, the perfect Valentine's palette for me. As you guys can see, I'm definitely feeling the pink. Look at this sweater. Oh, I love this palette so much. I love the shade Barb. I love the shade Anastasia. I like the shade Cupcake. Leo was the only one that gave me like a ton of trouble. It was very crumbly and it's not as pigmented as I wanted it to be, but oh, this is so fun. I definitely feel like this is the Anastasia formula for 2020. I know we all love like the modern renaissance and they have so many great classic beautiful neutral palettes but I feel like for somebody shopping for a new palette in 2020 this is your you know your eyes are definitely going to be drawn to this one and I'm so so happy that they did this. If you guys have been on the fence about it I'm telling you I really like it. I showed you all the palettes I was comparing it to and it has a special place in my heart for me right now. So I'm very excited. I know for sure in 2020, if I stick to this like low buy, I'm gonna rank all my palettes. Last year I bought so many palettes. 
I don't even remember which ones I bought in which months. So this is so manageable for me. So I definitely plan on doing more ranking videos and I think that'll be so fun at the end of 2020 if I could just rank all the palettes I bought. I think that was really cool. I saw Samantha March do it and a bunch of other creators at the end of 2019. So anyway, this is really fun. I so nervous to rank things, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye!